Hey Smiley's, hey. It's always the right time for masking, if you ask me. Today's mask uses one fourth of a ripe avocado, one tablespoon of honey, and 10 drops of rosehip seed oil. Side note, I'm actually using the pit from the avocado to start an avocado tree. So wish me luck and I'll have to keep you all posted on that. The healthy fatty acids, vitamins, and antioxidants in avocados make them a great ingredient for DIY face masks. They help to calm, moisturize, and revitalize your skin. Honey is also known for being super moisturizing and has antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties that help the skin heal. Honey helps keep the skin moist but not oily and is great for acne prone skin. Raw honey is also a natural exfoliator, so applying it to the skin removes dry, dull skin and reveals new skin cells underneath. If you're looking for an easy DIY mask that gives your skin an instant glow, be sure to check out my milk and honey mask recipe. Rosehip seed oil improves skin texture and complexion. This recipe calls for 10 drops, but I used about 12 here. Mixing these ingredients creates an ultra hydrating mask that is perfect for dry skin. Combine the avocado, honey, and rosehip seed oil and blend them until smooth. Use a food processor to mix or a fork or wooden stick like this one. This makes enough for two to three masks and it should be used right away. Hey Smiley's, another day, another mask. This one has avocado, honey, and rosehip seed oil. Here's what the mask looks like. Yummy, yummy. I'll just go right in. Mm. I like the way this one feels. This mask goes on smoothly and feels great going on. It has an immediate soothing effect, which I love. Use a brush, a mask applicator, or your fingertips to apply a thin layer to clean, slightly damp skin. Leave it on for about 10 to 15 minutes, then rinse it off and follow up with a moisturizer. As with all DIY facial treatments, keep it simple and be sure that whatever you are using is not something that you're allergic to or sensitive to. Okay, smileys, it's been about 10 minutes, so I'm going to remove the mask now and see what our skin looks like underneath. I use a facial sponge to remove the mask. It's soft, it's gentle, and effective. They worked perfectly for removing masks. Then I rinsed any remaining residue with lukewarm water and used a towel to pat dry my face. Okay, so last thing I'm gonna do is put on a few drops of rose seed oil. Finally, I use just a few drops of rosehip oil as a moisturizer. Rosehip is a non-greasy oil, so it's a great natural moisturizer for all skin types. It keeps the skin supple and strong by providing skin with vitamins A, C, and E. And that is it. Thanks so much for watching, Smiley's. I hope you all found the video helpful. If so, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you like good vibes. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.